Hi collective. So welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great today. Um yeah, I'm back with I'm back with another message. So um today I'm meant to have I'm supposed I'm supposed to have done this on um on Sunday, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, I was meant to do this on Sunday, but you know something came up, right? I had to attend to some other things, but I'm here now, I'm here to, you know, give this message, deliver this message. So, yes, we're going to church, right? We're going to church, and um, the message is 0044 on the clock. The message is um, Proverbs 31, woman, whoever you are, you should know yourself divine feminine right this message is for you so whoever you are right you are like the proverbs there's one woman in the bible right whoever you are right that's who you are and what i'm getting is that you're fulfilling purpose whatever you've been sent here to do or whatever you were sent here to do by god you're doing just that right so um you are god's supermodel and you have the spiritual catwalk that's what i'm getting so you could so with um the spiritual catwalk catwalk right you know you have the catwalk you know you could be i don't know you could have you could have like a way about you maybe there's a way you walk there's a way you talk right so when i got this message right when i got this message what came to mind was the queen of wands the queen of wands so i'll show you that card later but let me just continue right so i'm getting something about you know you know maybe you showing off you could be showing off or you have i mentioned earlier you have a way about you there's a way you talk there's a way you you know you walk right you're a leader you're very very ambitious right you're goal oriented you're a visionary but right? something and you know with all of these things that you are with all of these things that you do it is god god is using you god is showing you off right so i'm also getting you know i mentioned earlier i said the cat walk right so the cat walk i'm going to explain that to you but before i do that let me show you the queen of the queen of wands tarot card i'm going to i'm going to bring that out first before i even start with this reading before starting with this reading but so stay with me guys queen of wands where are you queen of wands queen of wands so someone could be looking for you too someone could be maybe somebody somebody is looking for you somebody is trying to i'm i'm, I'm hearing that somebody could could have been copying your style <clears throat> there could be somebody in your life someone you know or maybe you don't know this person somebody copies your style and this person is looking for you this person can't find you right whoever you are you have the catwalk so i wrote some things down we have look this is the queen of wands the queen of wands tarot card look at that cat here right she has a wand and she also has the sunflower so you know look at her dress that dress is you know yellow this is somebody who has you know this positive vibes about her she's you know she's outgoing she's ambitious she's energetic whoever you are you're strong you're courageous you're passionate you know you're funny you're independent confident you're optimistic and you know you're just you're just somebody to to be looked looked up to whoever you are so so i said i was going to explain something i wrote some some things down so this is 
what I wrote down. Do you know that a cat leaves only two footprints instead of four? So it's hind, hind legs step on the same spots where it's front leg steps. That's why it's called a cat's walk. So I mentioned earlier, I said somebody could be looking for you. Maybe somebody has been trying to follow in your footsteps. Somebody is trying to, you know, maybe look like you, walk like you, talk like you, right? Whoever this is, this person has lost you. Somebody can no longer copy you, copy your style, you know. Maybe somebody wants to be exactly like you. Somebody is trying to, you know, become a leader somebody wants to be like you but because of who you are i mentioned earlier that i just explained the catwalk to you so whoever this is like you leave no traces this person can't copy you right that's what i'm getting with that so i'm going to continue so this pe pe this pe peculiar way of walking this peculiar way of walking that requires a cat to first place its hind feet in front of its forefeet is called direct registering right direct registering please pay attention direct registering this phenomenon not only gives um you know the cats not only gives them a royal gait but also serves many benefits in the world in the wild so direct registering allows cats to minimize their trails i mentioned earlier that this thing right you know that cat walk the way they walk right it helps them minimize their trails by reducing their paw prints navigating narrow surfaces and maintaining body balance while domestic cats don't necessarily need these benefits they still follow direct registering as a matter of instinct so whoever you are you know when to you know you know you know when to you know just keep a low profile you know when to go out there you know when to write so they do have kinesthetic awareness they return in the same tracks they made before they bounce back like nothing has happened so I am with this right I'm also getting nine lives you know with the cat nine lives like you're, you're somebody who you know you, you fall you, 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 you fall down nine times and get back ten so you're somebody like that like no matter what happens to you you're always able to bounce back you know you're always able to get back up you know you, you know even if it takes you know starting over again right you're just who you are right so and what i'm getting with this is that you're you're like you know the woman in proverbs 21 so that's what i'm getting mommy at your phone yeah ben so you're like the woman in proverbs um proverbs 31 proverbs 31 so that's what i'm getting that's what i'm getting we're back guys so yes as i was saying right you're like the proverbs 31 woman in the bible so and you know i explained earlier i said you know something about you something about the way you walk the way you talk you know you have the catwalk you have the spiritual catwalk so let's let's go on the catwalk is a tool that fashion houses use to display their best products right and you know the bible says in second corinthians that it tells us that god has his own kind of catwalk right that he leads us down in triumphal procession why is god showing us off like this and what is he selling right this is what that's exactly what some people are asking some people could be asking okay what is you know what is it about this person why is god showing her up like this so why is god showing her off rather why is god showing this person off like this right what is what is this person selling why is god putting this person on display <laughs> so this type of modeling isn't about the model the models try very hard to be low-key in their walk down the catwalk so that they don't distract from the major objective of their job 
that purpose, a fashion catwalk is a tool that fashion houses use to show their best products to potential buyers. So to the fashion houses, catwalk models are not the focus for the audience. It's the clothing, the handbags, the footwear and other accessories, right? Now, the Bible tells us that God has his own kind of catwalk and he uses the catwalk for... Sorry, guys. So he uses the catwalk for an entirely different reason than fashion houses do. So God has an entirely different mindset. He has an entirely different set of priorities. So what is God's catwalk like? So we are walked down a catwalk. We are put on display as we are led in a triumphal procession. As I mentioned earlier, God is not showing off our clothes, our handbags, not even our footwears, right? God is not showing off the outer garments of his models. He's showing off the inner spirit of his people, right? God is literally putting us on display. So it is your spirit, right? It is not about, you know, what whatever God is doing with you, right? It is not about what you wear. It is not about your looks. It is not about how you talk. It is not, it is not even about how you walk, right? You know, people could be looking at, could be looking at, people could be looking at you know how you walk how you dress how you talk you know your makeup your hair right so what i'm getting with this message is that it is not really about those things so it is not really about you know your looks your clothes your shoes your bags it is not really about that so you are the product of you know god god wants to walk you know you are the product you are the product you are the main product that god wants to walk down the, uh, the wrong way so he's showing you off to the world and he does that because he wants the world to see that he's done uh, sorry he wants the world to see what he has done in your life whoever you are so throughout the bible god displays the people that impresses him the people that impress him he shows off to the world the kind of folks that are his finest products a good example of how god does this is found in proverbs you know 31 so i want you guys to you know turn there with me let's just quickly let's read that that bible verse proverbs i promise i won't i won't waste any time i promise proverbs 31 so yes proverbs 31 i read the words of king lamo the prophecy that his mother taught him what my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. It is not for kings, O Lamuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law, and perverse the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty. And remember his misery no more. Open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spell. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeketh wool and flax and walketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She gathereth her loins with strength and strengtheneth our arms. She perceiveth 
that her merchandise is good. A candle goeth not out by night. She layeth her hands to the spindle, and her hands hold the distaff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reacheth forth her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sitteth among the elders of the land, she maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. So, that's um, that's Proverbs 31. So, yes. Hold on. Sorry, guys. So, yes. Proverbs 31. So, what I'm getting with this is, you know, this is somebody, this is someone God wants you to try to be like right she's the kind of wife she's the kind of mother that god holds in highest regard right you know this you know you could whoever you are you could be a businesswoman so and so i just want you to you know maybe visualize this walking down the center aisle this you know this evening like i want you to see her in your mind's eye um, i'm talking about the proverbs 31 woman now this woman that is described in this you know bible verse right i want you to say her in your mind's eye as i you know as i as i have described her god gives you you know this remarkable woman he wants you to be like her you know god is leading this woman before us in the triumphal procession and god tells us not not only is he impressed with her so is her family her husband has fully confided in her right her husband sorry guys i wrote some things down i can't i can't even read <laughs> okay so her husband has her husband has full confidence in her but her children arise and call her blessed her husband also and he he, he praises her this woman is not a pampered princess nor a welfare queen she's a woman who works with her hands right i mentioned earlier i said you could be a business woman you could be a business person right she gets up while it is still dark she provides food for her family she watches over the affairs of her household and she does not eat the bread of idleness so this is somebody that works whoever you are you work you get up in the morning you know maybe you go to work or maybe you have a business this is a woman who takes who takes her family serious right you know she watches over the affairs of her household and you know she does not eat the bread of idleness i i said that earlier this is a woman who takes her family seriously she's a woman who works at making sure her family is well taken care of so i'm getting that you are this woman my divine collective or this is who god wants you to be and it seems that she sets the tone of what takes place in the home you know you've heard that the man is the head of the house and that's true but this woman is a moral center she's a moral center of the family she sets the example for her children in how you know to be busy how to be kind to others how to you know even you know be close to god she opens her arms to the poor and she extends her hands to to the needy so you could be a giver right you know somebody who is very kind you're somebody who gives you're somebody so what i'm getting is, is that this is who you are or this is who god wants you to be and you're fulfilling purpose right if you're if you're not doing this already this is this is a path god wants you to tread right so you're god's um supermodel you're god's supermodel god wants to show you off god wants to display you right because you are the proverbs 31 woman so 
that's the message people don't forget to click on the like button share and also subscribe to my channel see you on the next one peace and blessings namaste